Those are actually congas if you play it backwards. Didn't know that. Didn't know that. Brilliant track. I love it. But it got ruined, so let's talk about it. Hey guys, welcome to the studio. Today I was actually like in the B studio working on one of my new album songs and didn't really feel inspired. So I just did what I always do. I come up here and put some old records onto the record player and just listen to them. And this usually gets me instantly inspired. I also shared it in the story and I was playing right here by Outkast, Miss Jackson, one of my favorite tunes ever. It's in so many points so good, like the, 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 the lyrics, of course, the rapping, the singing is all top notch. But what really stands out for me as a producer is actually the beat, the instrumental. It's like consisting almost entirely of the reverse sounds in a creative way that, that doesn't annoy you. Usually when you use too much reverse kind of parts in a song, it's awful, but here it's like imperfection, very creative, like a, a classic piece of music. There is nothing anyone should ever try to change or improve on this one. So I posted the song and someone wrote back, do you know the new version? Did you already listen to it? And I was thinking like, what new version? It really doesn't need one. The person replied then with DJ Khalid's new version. And I was like instantly, oh no, please, please, no, not another one. And then of course went online, I just had to listen to it. I, I knew that this can't be good, but I was actually surprised by how bad it is. I first thought he just took the instrumental and let someone else sing on top. But as it seems like they had to re-record that part, they weren't allowed to use the master right. So they weren't allowed to take the original song, cut something out of it and use it and re-release it. They probably just got the publishing right for the song, which is way easier to get. And this usually allows you to use the same melody, the same lyrics and everything. So someone else copied this entire beat and I don't know, it's actually like comparing these speakers to these right here, I mean, big difference. It's just not good. It sounds like, like a cheap, fake, fake version of it. And I still want to give credits to whoever did that, because like replicating another song one-to-one -one is almost impossible. You could give me one of my own songs the next day and tell me do the same thing. It would never ever sound the same. I could maybe get like 95% close to it, but producing something, it's, it's always in the moment, it changes. And if you have like 40, 50 tracks, like every track just being off by 1% adds up. So yeah, actually the idea to take this song is where the harm comes from. And I honestly don't want this to be, okay. <laughs> maybe, maybe just partially, I just partially want this to be a. DJ Khalid Rand, because we all know he's not really doing anything. He is a brand, he is a meme. Actually, by him being in the track, like he's actually making it worse with his meme kind of sentences. Another one. First, maybe it was funny to some, but right now it's just like annoying. There is also this interview where he explains what he's doing as a producer. Chris Brown, I let you go here. August Agnes, Jeremiah. I took the hook, took this piece out, added August here, kept Jeremiah there. Chris Brown set it off in the intro, verse, you know what I'm saying? Changed the music right here, put the bridge right there, and like fucking, like it was like a lot of vocals. Mm -hmm. Trust me, guys, that's not what a producer does. Like, not at all. If you really want to know, just check out some of my other videos out. But like, that's not how it 
how it works. And yeah, he's also not a DJ. He's actually more like an MC, a really bad one, at least when he's like performing live. He's definitely a public figure and like an entertainer. You, you can give him that. But like music, like he actually doesn't have to do anything with like the music. Maybe the ideas are his, like let's take this song and combine it with that and get that singer. But he's definitely not a producer and it's it's kind of funny, like I remember, what was it, like 20 years ago? There was this one song by Millie Vanilli, I don't, I don't, I don't actually remember what they were called. Ooh, 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 it was a huge hit, like a one hit wonder and they were caught cheating. It turned out that they weren't actually the ones singing in, in the recording that was done in the studio. So they were just like figures performing on stage. And once the public knew about it, they were done. That was it. The project was, was killed. There was like nothing left. DJ Khalid is actually doing the same. He's releasing music with his name on it and he didn't do anything, didn't add anything to it. And he gets away with it. Like, it seems like no one cares. It seems like if you're honest, that you don't do anything and like everything is done by other people people actually don't don't mind like if he would have lied then maybe but it seems to be like public that he's not really doing anything to these kind of songs definitely not a producer definitely not a dj but again this shouldn't be like the typical dj khalid rent this should be also a little educational because um if you if you want to make a remix or a cover then please think about what kind of song you want to cover or remix or make an edit of. It's really stupid to take a song that is like perfect and like there, there's nothing you could change about Miss Jackson by Outkast without ruining it. Yes, it sounds a little old school, but that's like the whole vibe of it. I, I wouldn't even try making like a new 2019 version of it. So take either a song that is so old that people forgot about it Take a song that is so bad that you can only improve. That's like the easiest. That's what I would do. But sometimes this can also be challenging because if you take a song that's actually bad, it's hard to make it into something good. So the best is actually to take a song that has a part or the core of it being extremely good, but the execution of that idea actually being really bad. So you can come in as a producer and like change that and make that into something that is actually brilliant. For example, Jonas Blue, um, was it Fast Cars? The old one is, is good, but he changed it into something modern and it's an epic song. But you know what? Just, just maybe we're the stupid ones. Maybe I'm jealous. Maybe you're jealous. Because let's be honest, Khalid, he achieved what a lot of people dream of. A lot of money, fame, and he's not doing anything for it. So that's actually perfect. But if you ask me personally, I prefer sitting in the studio making actually something that I've made. Yes, of course, not every producer can do everything themselves. I need a guitar player because I can't play the guitar. I need someone to sing because I can't sing. But at least I'm contributing something and actually like to, to work. I like to create. I like to make something. I like to improve. Listening to my old songs and realizing how much I actually improved over the years. That's really like like a core essence in life and he's definitely missing out on that. Let me know what you think about this entire situation. Would you prefer the money, fame and doing absolutely nothing? Or do you actually enjoy being creative and, and making something? I'm definitely for the later one. So just continuing for the rest of the day, working on Logic on the new album track. I hope I will finish it within the next two, three days. Oh, and by the way, tomorrow, another episode, of course, but a special one about what DJs actually do on stage. Like, a lot of my friends always ask me, what is a DJ actually doing? Tomorrow, I will answer exactly that. Don't get too close. Don't get too close.